What is happening guys? My name is Jamie. Today we were doing a CD collection. Hello, I'm so excited. Got a few CDs. Um, got a few new CDs. Let me draw quite a lot of CDs that I have to share with you guys. And uh, you know what? It's going to be a fun video. Uh, last um, CD collection I did, it was a pretty big pack as well. And you know what? I'm starting to run out of room. I need to get some... I need to clear out the bookcase and put some more CDs. But yeah, I absolutely love CDs. And, and I did buy a few CDs um, over the past week. So let's uh, get on with it. So first of all, it's uh, Harry Curry for the Sky and the album, yeah. This is a very good album by Harry Curry for the Sky. I just really enjoy it. Songs like Paul Bearer, Sing for the Damage, We're Done, along with Us Against December Skies. This is a double album. So there are two, two CDs. Two CDs, a double album. Um, it does sound a bit samey, but um, I can understand why they split the album, to be honest. It does sound a bit samey. It's one of the weakest albums by Harry Curry for the Sky, but it's a solid album nonetheless. Next up is, well, I'm so glad I got this, to be honest. It's Mayhem Chimera. Yes, Whore, Dark Knight of the Soul, My Death, My Death, along with You Must Fall, Sort of Dreams. Just so many good songs off the album. I absolutely, I absolutely love the, love, I'm so glad I got the Mayhem uh, CD. This is one of my favorite Mayhem CDs, to be honest, uh, along with um, Daemon. Daemon is next, and this was, this is Mayhem's latest album. Daemon's great, The Dying False King, um, Bad Blood, Falsified and Hated, uh, Damon Spawn, just so many good good songs on this album. It's quite, well, probably definitely one of the most intense Mayhem albums out there. But yeah, solid album nonetheless. Next up is a is Blind Guardian, Battalion of Fears. Um, yeah, Bell, Bat <laughs> Battalions of Fears. Um, oh, this is, I, I think this is Blind Guardian's first album. Did hear it, I did give it a spin and you know what? Pretty solid EP, uh, really pretty solid LP, Wizard's Crown, The Martyr, B Battalions of Fear, but a, um, Gandos, uh, no, uh, Guardian of the Blind. Just, um, yeah, so many interesting songs. Um, a different sound by Blind Guardian, more speed metal, you could say, more thrashy. But yeah, overall, it's pretty good. This album, ha this album has two CDs. One's the remix and one's the original. I actually really enjoy the original, to be honest. Next up is another Blind Guardian album. It's Somewhere Far Beyond. Yeah, this album's fantastic. Again, there are two discs, two discs, and uh, it's got the remix and it's got the original. It's a good album, nonetheless. Really enjoy, really enjoy the song Time What Is Time. You know, Quest for Tanalorn, that amazing song. Um, Ashes to Ashes, the Bard song, you got the Bard song on this, very awesome ballad, and then it's got the second part of the Bard song, it was Somewhere Far Beyond, this is one of my favourite Blind Guardian albums, really like it. Next up is some black metal, it's Dark Throne, um, it is uh, A Blaze in the Northern Skies, <laughs> just so many good songs on this, this is their sophomore album, I believe, I think it's a sophomore album. Um, this was this was after Soulside Journey, that death metal album. Just really awesome songs. Went like where cold winds blow, a blaze in the northern sky. Really enjoy it. It's a great spin. Next up is one of my favorite heavy metal bands. It's Wasp. Wasp is such an awesome, awesome, awesome band. Really love it. They had that sort of hair metal aesthetics. But you know what? You got Blackie, Lawless, who is the vocalist? He's like, was so damn unique. I really want to get the Crimson Idol. I love the story of it. I love this album as well. The Real Me, The Headless Children, For Whom the Bell, um, uh, l l uh, Forever Free. Um, just so many good songs on this. Really do enjoy it. Next up is uh, Catatonia's newest album which is City Burials. This is a classic album. This is a, well, it's not, well, to me, to me already, this is a classic album by Catatonia. Absolutely love it. Love the winter of our passing. Vanishes, vanishes, that beautiful song is, oh, that song is so damn beautiful. Especially her vocals, her vocals are amazing. Along with Jonas's vocals as well. They harmonize so damn well together. 
um, Flicker, like, um, then you got Untrodden, and then you got, of course, Lacqua and Behind the Blood. This is more, uh, this they incorporate more heavy metal elements on this. Love the solos on this, just a great album. Well, it's Cradle of Filth, Thornography. Yes, I love this album, I really do. Dirge Inferno, Tonight in Flames, along with the Byronic Man, hello. And then you got, um, then you got the instrumental, Rise of the Pentagram, and then you got Under Huntress Moon, Ooh, and then you got Temptation. Yeah, just so many good songs on this album, really is. A lot of people shit on Thornography just because they changed the sound. Well, this is a great album nonetheless, absolutely love it. Next up is Nenthetamine, Cradle of Filth again. Yes, I went on the Cradle of Filth buying binge and so glad I got this album. You got Gilded Cunt, you got uh, Gabriel, Nemesis, then you got Medusa Hemlock, Coffin Fodder. Just, yeah, really awesome songs. Um, and then you got Nenthetamine Overdose. Nenthetamine Overdose, I enjoy it. Hell of a bit of an amphetamine fix, but yeah, Cradle of Filth. Nymphetamine, I got. Next up is, um, a lot of people really shit on this album for some reason. I absolutely love it. It's got Damnation in a Day, Cradle of Filth again. Um, just so many good songs, like, It's Better to Rain in How, along with Babylon AD. Um, I love the presentation of this album. It's absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite albums by Cradle of Filth. Also got an EP. An EP, this is a really, really, quite a, quite a lengthy EP. Should be an actual album, but anyway, it's Cradle of Filth, Lovecraft and Witch Hearts. So many good songs on this album. Um, overall, they do sort of reimagine the songs now and again. Um, this is also a compilation album, you could say, and it's got some awesome songs on it, like Funeral and Compethia. Beneath the Howling Stars. Yeah, so this is a great, this is a really good album. And like I said, I got remixes of songs. It's a good album. Really different, different perspective for Cradle of Filth. Cruelty and the Beast is next. And yeah, this is one of my favorite Cradle of Filth albums. Not my favorite, not my favorite, not gonna admit, got to admit, but I did see them perform this whole entire album live. It was absolutely fantastic. Venus and Fe um, you got Cruelty brought the Orchards, you got the Twisted Nails of Earth, then you got Bathory Aria, hello, one of the fantastic songs, one of the longest songs ever by Cradle of Filth, and you got Lust Mode and Lust, and then you got Lust Mode and Wargasm, oh, just an incredible album, I want Dusk in her embrace, to be honest. Let's get on with one of the best art covers of 2021, it is Theorem Calvary, this is a French black metal banner. I absolutely love this art cover. And the reason why I got this album was because of the art cover and the music is fucking awesome as well. Look at that. It's so damn good. It really is. I love the third song on this album. I love how catchy it is, it's quite melodic. It's friggin' awesome. This is one of my favorite albums of 2021. It's Epica Omega. So good, um, you got Abyss of Time, the Skeleton Team, the Seal of Solomon, along with Kingdom of Heaven, part three. Then you got, then you got um, Omega, Omega and Sovereign of the Sun Spheres. Oh, just amazing fucking album, it really is. I love it, I really do. And Gaia, Code of Life, Code of Life, uh, the, um, uh, the Wolves Within, just a fantastic, fantastic album overall. Love it. One of my favorite Epica albums. Next up is um a bit, <laughs> a bit uh interesting, but um you know what? I wanted this album, and just because I really enjoy this LP for some reason, it's uh <laughs> don't hate, but it's Stephen Wilson, The Future Bites. This is, um, what can I say? It's a good pop album by Stephen Wilson. Yeah, this is a pop album, and Stephen Wilson's vocals are absolutely fantastic. 
and the songs are catchy. You got Personal Shovel, which is nine minutes, and Alan John features on that song. And you got Follower, Count of Unease. And you got King Ghost Self, Twelve Things I Forgot. Very more southern, southern sort of song. But yeah, Stephen Wilson, The Future Bites is a must listen. It really is. Like if you like Stephen Wilson, I, I know a lot of people don't are shitting on this album for some reason because it's different by Stephen Wilson. But yeah, really enjoy this one. Next up is Balknagar, True North. Yeah, this is one of my favorite albums by Balknagar. I really do enjoy Balknagar, really do. They're a fun, folky, black metal band. They incorporate more cleaner vocals on this album, they really do, but damn, what can I say? You got, tr you got Thunderous up north, The Fire That Burns, how catchy is that song? And you got um, Voices, uh, into the White, Mount Rapture, just so many good songs on this album. I absolutely love Borknigar. We'll have to do a, a album ranking one day for Borknigar. And we've got Parkway Drive, some metalcore up your ass, Reverence. This is one of the, my favorite uh, Parkway Drive albums. And um, a lot of people don't really like the new sound of Parkway Drive. I absolutely love it. Big fan of Parkway Drive, really do enjoy all this stuff. I want to get I up, but Parkway Drive, there's so many good, just going to so many good songs like Pray, Absolute Power, Symmetry, Bloom. Uh, oh, I uh, love that song. The Void, I Hope You Rot, Shadow Boxing in Blood. More of a heavy metal album, this is less metal call. That's probably why a lot of people don't really enjoy Parkway Drive anymore. But yeah, Parkway Drive, one of the biggest bands in the world now, and they are Aussie. Next up is Etheric, Apothe Apotheosis. This album was released in 2021, this year, and you got some amazing songs like A Rose Red Midnights, We Determined Steps, Path of Ordeal. This is a fantastic album, and I absolutely love the album cover. Look at the album cover. It's a guy shooting an arrow up in the sky. I just love the meaning of it, the symbolism. Yeah. So damn good, it really is. Yeah, Etheric Apotheosis is one of my favorite albums of 2021. Next up is um some oh Funeral Doom, my favorite Funeral Doom band of all time, and it's none other than Ahab the Giant. This album is fantastic. It really is. Your Antarctica, the polymorphosis. What a, this is my favorite. It's probably my favorite funeral doom song of all time. I love that. I love those riffs. The riffs are so damn crunching on this album. And you got the giant fathoms deep below. Oh, this album is so damn good. It really is. And to think I actually got this on CD now. I got this on CD and yeah, fantastic. I know Buddy Quest for Metal's got this on vinyl as well. It's funny because we bought we bought Ahab at the same time. Um, but yeah, I got the CD, he got the vinyl. Next up is another, another brand new album. It is, um, well, to be honest, this album really got me into tr this band, Tribulation. And I really love all their stuff now. I really love this album. It's one of my favorites. It's... When the gloom, um, what's it called? When the gloom becomes sound, by Trivium, uh, tribulation, Jesus, <laughs> tribulation. So damn good. Your Al the Wolf, oh Leviathans, along with Elementals. That guitar solo on Elementals, so damn good. And it's also got an extra track, the Damp Fear Part One. Um, this is what you could say a digi book. So this is a digi book and some beautiful artwork there really is some beautiful artwork backing the lyrics the meaning behind the songs so damn good one of my favorites of the um year i didn't like this album at first next up is some dark fortress we're talking about specters from the old world and yeah this is another digi book and you know what it's Fucking fantastic, it really is. You got you got the spiral and the web, specters from the old world. Paliake dun dun fantastic gold is scorched in rock. Oh, what a fantastic song. Then you got 
Issa. Then you got In Deepest Times, Swan Song, Nox R.E., so just so many good, so many good fucking songs. And not to mention, the, this, this, this booklet's amazing. It really is. Some beautiful, beautiful artwork. Oh, one of the best, one of the best Dark Fortress, one of the best Dark Fortress uh, albums. We'll have to provide an album ranking one day. Um, oh, this is interesting. It's Motorhead, Ace of Spades. Um, what can I say? This is one of the best Motorhead albums, in my opinion. Really enjoy it. Love Me Like a Reptile, Shoot You in the Back, Live to Win, Fast and Loose, Jailbait Dance. Uh, what I find um, interesting about Motorhead is that, yeah, the Motorhead is really good, but there's only a small dose of Motorhead you can listen to each day. They're not a, a sort of band that you can binge. But yeah, this is the special edition of Motorhead. And I got this pretty cheap, to be honest. Two discs, one is... One is the actual bonus tracks. For, one is the actual bonus tracks. And one's an interview as well with Motorhead. But yeah, what can I say? Starting my Motorhead collection now, Ace of Spades. So a lot of people, well, it's just one person, Metal Trenches, don't really enjoy it. The Valley by Whitechapel. Um, what can I say? This is, uh, this is like one, this is my first Deathcore album I have collected. I love this album. You got When Demon Defiles a Witch. And then you got that Hickory Creek, that beautiful sort of ballad by Whitechapel. We Are One, Third Depth, Lovelace, Black Bear. This is a great album by Whitechapel. One of the best in my opinion. I do really enjoy most of Whitechapel stuff, believe it or not, even though I'm really into Black and Death and Doom. Yeah, Deathcore still rocks. Oh! So... It is a now Nathrak, this city or audium. A lot of people don't like this album for some reason, but you know what? I absolutely adore it. Silly me ordered two this city or audium. So uh, if you want an now Nathrak, this city or audium um, CD, I can always send you one if you want one. If you want, a sp I got a spare one, and this will be the one that I will send if you like a now Nathrak, this city or audium. But you know what? This album's fantastic. This was my weakest album by a now Nathrak. But holy shit, it has grown on me so fucking much. It really has. You got Unleashed, Mushroom in Amino, the one thing needful. And then you got, and then you got the Joy Stream, babe in the Joy Stream, twenty nine thousand children today. So if you want this album, come below, come below, come below, and I'll pick um a random. I'll maybe come below your favorite albums you have collected over the past year or something like that. I don't know. Just comment below and drop a like to enter a now that fact this city radiums uh, competition, whatever you want. God, I've gone completely mental. But yeah, in chronological order, this is what I got. We got now that fact this city radium. We got Motorhead, Ace of Spades. We got Dark Fortress, Spectres from the Old World. Um, then we got Tribulation, When Sound Becomes Gloom, When the Gloom Becomes Sound. I always get so confused with that. Ahab, The Giants. We got Etheric, Apotheosis, Parkway Drive, Reverence. I'm going to be called a poser here because, oh, you got Parkway Drive. Oh, you got Stephen Wilson, The Future Blind. Stick a breadstick up your ass. How's that? Then we got Borknigger, True North. Steven Wilson, The Future Bites. Epica, Omega, oh you poser. Theoretarium, Calvera. Cradle of Filth, Cruelty and the Beast. Cradle of Filth, um, Lovecraft and Witchcraft, I think it's called. No, Witch Heart, sorry. <laughs> Cradle of Filth, Damnation in a Day. Cradle of Filth, Nymphetamine. Cradle Filth Phonography. Hell yeah, we're starting our Cradle Filth Connection. Of course, White Chapel. Um, we got Catatonia, City Burials. We got Wasp, Headless Children. Um, Blazing Northern Sky by Dark Throne. Blind Guardian, Somewhere Far Beyond. Blind Guardian, Battalions of Fear. Mayhem, Daemon. Got Mayhem, Chimera, 
And finally, saying for the damage we've done. It's Harry Curie for the Sky Mirror. So guys, that is it for all the albums I collected over the past few weeks. You know what? I gotta stop spending, I really do. I really do, but there's more CDs coming my way. I will definitely share share with you uh, the next batch of CDs. But yeah, comment below what you thought about this album. Comment below what you thought about this video. Um, comment below what CDs or vinyls you have collected. And no, I'm not going to collect vinyls because it's just way too expensive. You know what, to buy like Metallica, Master of Puppets vinyl here, it's like $80. $80 at JB Hi-Fi. I was like, what? I might as well buy like five CDs instead of vinyl. Fuck that. But anyway, we've got one. we got plenty of CDs. Uh, that I shared with you guys. Hope you did enjoy it. List your albums you collected. Drop a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you in the next one.